Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about play games and today we're going to be playing Luigi's Mansion. The last episode if you don't remember we went ahead and finished up area 1, we got all 3 boss ghosts, got gold ranks on all of those, and in this episode we're going to go ahead and go to area 2. We get the same cutscene as before, so that's why I don't feel that too bad about talking over it. Over it. Now if you'll remember last time we got a heart key after we defeated Chauncey. And right here we have a door covered in thorns with a heart on it. So we walk up to it. And the thorns disappear. Welcome to Area 2. So our first goal is to head over to the top left. We have a picture of the mansion inside of the mansion. And as you walk by here, you'll hear a piano playing. Just keep that in mind for later. You want to walk in here. Or, or um, occupied. I had no idea that happened when you opened up that door. I just usually go straight to this door. But I forgot which one I was doing. So, right here we have these grabby ghosts, which not only make a funny noise when you suck them up, but also can be a bit annoying, and you need to sh use your control stick to shake them off. And here's Egad to tell us that exact thing. So run into a bit of trouble, maybe, maybe you need more training. I did that without taking damage, you liar. There are some ghosts who will try to grab and hold you when that happens. Try moving your control stick back and forth to shake them off. There's your old stroll for surprise. I can't talk today, apparently. Anyways, now we got a heart, and that'll lead on over to... There. I was going to say the name of the room, but I think it adds a lot more suspense when you don't know what room we're going to. It could be anything. It could be... I don't know. I couldn't come up with any examples. Or at least none that sounded cool. You open it up, and it's the ballroom. And these enemies might look familiar to you. These are Shy Guy Ghosts. Suck off their masks, then suck them up. This is the closest we'll ever get to knowing what's behind the Shy Guy's mask. It's just eyes. Everyone knows the trivia that the American Super Mario Bros. 2 isn't actually Super Mario Bros. 2. I guess for those who don't know, the game we got that's called Super Mario Bros. 2 is actually a reskin of a Japanese game called Doki Doki Panic. And the real Super Mario Bros. 2 released in Japan is known as Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. Uh, I'll get back to that in a second. Right here we have this dancing couple, I forget the name of them. But we have to wait for them to bow. And suck them up. Nope. Okay, I got hit with a poison mushroom. I also love when he's high-pitched. I think I got... the big pearl, maybe? Ah, I didn't get the big pearl. Or wait. No wait, maybe I did, because I don't think I got any pearls from Chauncey. Never mind. But yeah, uh, the real Mario Bros. 2, known in the US as Mario The Lost Levels, uh, was deemed too hard for Americans. And so they just decided to go at it with Doki Doki Panic and just call it Mario 2. And uh, yeah, Mario The Lost Levels is pretty hard. I beat it, but I had to... Uh, you know how on the on th the 3DS when you... Uh, what's it called? When you play an old virtual console game, you have the ability to use save states. I would use a save, save state at the beginning of each level, and then sometimes at really hard parts that were like way deep into the level, I would also do that. Mario. Anyways, enough of my rambling, let's just go through this door already and head into the storage room. Got a speedy spirit. 
suck it up. And we don't got any gemstones, unfortunately, but we still got a good amount of money, so I'm not complaining. I don't think there's anything else in this room. Except for this pink puncher. Walk around again. Got you. Now, you'll notice something in the mirror over there. We'll get to that in a second. Sometimes you'll just hear me going ham on the uh, control stick. Ah, oh, that sucks. I was going to try to get them both at once, but I missed one of them and the other one snuck up behind me and grabbed me. But yeah, now that we've done that, you'll notice that there's something over here in the mirror. And if we look at it with the Game Boy Horror, don't push. Well, as the classic meme goes, this sign can't stop me because I can't read. Ooh, new area. Danger. Got another button. Who's there? Who deserve, disturbs our sleep? Oh, it's Luigi. Look, guys, Luigi's finally gonna do what we did to your brother, only worse. It's on his back. It's Egan's pulled across 3,000. Everybody scram! That was the king of the booze, King Boo. But even he's scared of Egad's inventions. Luigi, are you okay? That was them. Those were the those are the ones who released all of the ghosts from the paintings in my gallery. Those fiends. I wondered where King Boo and his gang had gone, so they were hiding in the mansion all along. Thanks for flushing them out, flushing them out, Luigi. I'm tickled you found them, but perhaps it would have been better if you hadn't. Well. Let every single one escape. Just a thought. Ah, well, water under the bridge. Anyway, you should probably come back to the lab for a sec. So I think this is the, one of the only times where we head back to the lab in the middle of, you know, an area. Except for, I think, when you save and quit. I think that also brings you back to the lab. But for story purposes, this is the only time, I think. I've been waiting for you, young Luigi. Your brother must have been t taken by that king of booze. Poor fellow. Oh, now, don't talk crazy. They're not gonna eat the man. But what became of him, hmm? Odd that he hasn't come back. Common theory holds that booze grow in strength with them when they travel in numbers. They must somehow combine their powers, too. Their power likely overwhelmed your brother. If your aim is to save Mario, there's but one way to do it. Capture each boo and slowly weaken the group's power. But booze, as their name implies, like to hide and then jump out to scare people. You've got your work cut out finding them. <laughs> Don't get all down in the mouth, my boy. That Game Boy Horror I gave you has a secret function. I knew it would come in handy one day, so I developed it secretly. I call it the Boo Radar. The Boo Radar will flash red when something around like a boo is hidden nearby. Use it to search everywhere, Luigi. All right, now, Sonny, don't go tuckering yourself out. Now, relax, and just try to get those boos one at a time. The trick is using the control stick and the C-stick together. Don't forget that now. Where will you go, Luigi? I'll head back to the mansion, of course. I'll skip that cutscene. And now, there is a boo in almost every room. There are a couple rooms that are too small to have boos, but usually they have boos. Right here, we have some sort of lump in the table. And it's a boo. I am Bamboo, if you please. So here's the funny thing about boos. Every single one of their names is a pun. Mercy, you've already caught your first boo. I've been researching those guys. Well, these boos don't seem to like the light much, that's for sure. They do their best to hide in and under furniture when they're stuck in a lit room. So then I reckon that means then that turning on all the lights in the mansion is the fastest way to find all the boos. Wouldn't you say so, youngster? Okay, send me the boo, the boo and all the data you've got. And that also gives us a save point. Be careful, Luigi. So we head to the next room.
We open this up. And Iga had mentioned that he that the radar searches for round things like booze, which means that some round things that aren't booze will be found, like this boo ball. Hope this is boo. Yep. Looking for me, Bootha. Like Bertha. Boo number two. Number boo. Oh, you're on fire, Luigi! On fire! Now send me that, that boo and all the data that you've got. Be careful. Now, room number three. Sometimes it likes to hide in... Oh. Game Boo Advance. So yeah, this came out. This game came out in 2001, and Nintendo just wanted to promote their new handheld. So Game Boo Advance instead of Game Boy Advance. It's like you were born to capture booze, Luigi. Now we just want to teleport. We're gonna head into the west part of Area One. Although I guess that room we were just in is in the western part. But you know what I meant. The entrance to this area is in the western part of the house. Right over here. We want to head into Neville's room, the study. Oh, that's a bomb! So yeah, the three things you can find with the Boo radar are Boos, Boo Balls, and Bombs. All start with the letter B. Sometimes they could take a little bit, because sometimes they can change spots. Taboo! <laughs> Fantastic! Way to go, Luigi! So I'll just read all of the new text that's not repeating. Got Chauncey's room? Oh. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to look at the... The drawers over here. Yeah. Turbo. Speaking of turbo, these boos can go really fast sometimes. Unbelievable, there's no stopping you, Luigi. I've already found five boos. You're a boo snaring maniac. I understand you're worried about your brother, young feller, but take her easy. You still have plenty of time still. Or you have plenty of time still, so try to keep your shirt on. Why not go to the washroom and splash some water on your face? You'll feel much better, believe you me. So we'll take that advice a little bit later, but there's also a sixth boo, and then a seventh and eighth one that we need to go get. Where are you? In the bed, maybe? Boolicious. I don't have a funny thing to say after that, just standing work. You're like a leopard on the hunt. I usually mash through all of the things that Egad says whenever you catch a boo, so all of that text will be new to me too. I probably should have used the mirror to teleport, but eh, it only saves a couple of seconds. Which I guess if you're a speedrunner then you'll want that, but I'm just doing a casual playthrough. I will be trying to go for 100%. They usually hide in one of these chairs or maybe in the ceiling. Ooh, gold bar. I think that that laugh means that they've changed their spot. They went to the chair. Oh, no, never mind, that's a bomb. They went to this chair. This is Bulala. There we go. Fantastic! Way to go, Luigi! Okay, I might start repeating now. Okay, there we go. You are Game Boo, just a classic Game Boo. Boo number eight. And I might be incorrect on that one. Also, I forgot to read what Egad said. I might be incorrect on this one. But I don't think there's one in the bathroom. 
I could be incorrect though, so I'll check just in case. Also, note this floating uh, set of candles. Yep, no boo in here. So, four of this was occupied, but now, well, it's still occupied, but we're able to go in now. I had dropped something really important to the toilet. I didn't mean to. Don't worry about it. Hey, you're right. No point in crying over spilt milk. I'll, I suppose I'll just flush that old worry away. Yep, I'll just let it swirl on down into the depths and let happiness refill my life. I'll get the key. That'll lead over there. And then you'll let me save. I always want to uh, start talking about stuff, but this game is quite rapid fire. I'm going to wait for it to slow down a little bit, and then I'll uh, get to stuff. Anyways, this is the, come on game, Fortune Teller's Room. You want to flash a light on this? Actually, no, wait, hold on. Don't, don't, don't. I guess I'll do this first. This is Madame Clairvoya. What do you seek of me? Who are you? I am Madame Clairvoya, seer of dropped items. Possessions of other people awaken vibrations in my spirit. If you find someone's dropped items, you should bring them to me. I'll show you the extent of my vision. So we'll have to do that later. Tell me the future. Oh, Haram. No, I feel no spiritual vibrations right now. Okay, so we'll just have to bring her some dropped items, and then we'll... Ah, poison mushroom. I'm gonna let that disappear, because there's something I need to do in this room. Here. Oh, money! Okay. Speaking of money, we want to go right over here. Actually, I'll go right here. Right here, there'll be a piece of cheese, and you know what that means. Golden mouse. And we get a sapphire for our troubles. Get all the rest of the coins. And there's a room off to the right that we want to go to real quick. And that'll allow us to... Get something new. This is the mirror room. So we have a mirror right here, and we can only see the ghosts in the reflection. If you want, you can also use where the uh, dust appears when they spawn in as an indicator of where they are. Oh, we got two. Come on, can I get two at a time? Ah, gosh dang it. I might not be able to suck this one up. Oh, I got him sucked up. Suck up this guy too. And that should be it. No, there's more. I think it's just one or two more. Yeah, I think these are the final two. I'm not doing very well with these grabby guys. Now that he's down, that should be it. Yep. And there's that chest right there in the middle. First, I'm going to get the boo, which is... Which is... Kung Boo. Suck him up. And you'll notice we can't leave the room until... Well done, Luigi. We open up this, and we get a... Fire medallion? I forget the exact names for these things all the time. What have you found there? Let's take a look at that. Oh, uh, it's a fire element metal. Okay, so it's I'll just call it the fire metal. Now you can use the fire element. Yes, sir, with that you can catch fire element ghosts. Hmm, what's a fire elemental ghost, you ask? Why, they show up whenever you see them a fire, my boy. They're ghosts of fire itself. If you approach a flame, they'll be surprised by your presence. Leap out into the air. 
Then you vacuum them up right away. After that, you can expel fire with the L button. You can melt ice, light candles, and do all kinds of stuff. A meter will appear down at the bottom of the screen, so keep an eye on how much element you have left, okay, fella? You may have to use the fire element to defeat some ghosts. Keep that in mind, Sonny. Don't say I never warned you. So an interesting piece of trivia about this is that originally there was supposed to be, like, a meter for how long you can use the poltergust. And that was supposed to be this fire meter, but they scrapped that. And honestly, I'm glad because that would have sucked. But anyways, you want to light up those candles. And that opens up this door. And right in here, we also have some candles, so we're going to use those. And with that, we get this key. Wait. Is the key up there? Oh no, it's over here. Sorry. I knew it was on one of those little pedestal things. Now we got a key over there, and we're going to go ahead and walk on over there in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue exploring the mansion, and maybe I can actually, you know, tell a story or something like that, because there are a couple of stories that I want to tell, uh, but this game is very rapid fire, and I have a lot of stuff to explain, so maybe not. Maybe the next time... There's a dark room with a bunch of ghosts I can start telling stories. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.